Today, we're going to write the formula for the ionic compound iron to oxide. So let's see where these elements are located on the periodic table, and then we'll write the formula from there. So let's work with iron first. I'm going to scan the periodic table to see where iron is, and iron is right here, right? It's represented by an Fe. So I know that I have Fe, right? But now the thing is, if you have a element, in this case iron, that's in your transition metals, right, it's in this little box right here, these elements can have many different charges. So what charge am I going to use in the upper right-hand corner? Oh, that's why they gave me this Roman numeral. Remember, the Roman numeral is always the charge of the metal. So in this case, I see a 2, so I know that iron is going to be a plus 2 charge. And metals are always positives, never negative. Next, I see oxide. It's an IDE ending, which means that it's probably going to be a nonmetal in the periodic table. And I find it, right? I look for the ox beginning, and oxygen is right here, right? It's represented by an O. And oxygen, as this group, likes to have the, uh, the trend, the charge of negative 2. So that's what I'm going to write over here. Oxygen will have a negative 2. Now, since I have both components, we do this little trick where we take these charges and we crisscross them to just say how many of each I need. So this plus 2 crisscrosses down, telling me that I need 2 oxygens, and this negative 2 crisscrosses down, telling me that I need 2 irons. So when you do your crisscrossing, don't worry about the positives and the negatives up top. You're just focusing on the subscripts on the bottom, okay? But now here's the thing, guys. Ionic compounds and the formulas have to always be in the most simplified form, right? So if you see that you have the same number and it's greater than 1, you have to simplify this by division. So I can take both of these and divide by 2 to get a more simplified number. In this case, they both would be 1s. And that's the number that I'm going to use when I write my formula. So now let's get to it. I have iron, and I only need one of them, so I don't have to write this 1. And then I have oxygen, right? And the same thing as well. I only have one, so I don't have to write this one. And I'm done. So iron 2 oxide is just F-E-O. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. That would help us out tremendously. And just get the word out there that this service exists on YouTube. And I thank you so much for that. Good luck in all your future tests and quizzes. And I'll see you in later lessons. Bye-bye.